White House and the Democrat majority in Congress control Washington. They're in charge. They want you to give them two more years of power. But Republicans have a plan for a new direction. About to hear more about it today, House Republicans will launch their new commitment to America plan as they hope to take back Congress in November. And their announcement in Pittsburgh is expected to fo focus on the kitchen table issues that are impacting all of us, the voters, the most. Joining us right now at a table is Fox and Friends Enterprise reporter Lawrence Jones, along with Jim Jordan, uh, Congressman Burgess Owens, and Congresswoman Kat Kamek with the reaction. And they're going to explain it all to Lawrence. Hey, Lawrence. That's right. Good morning, family. Uh, got superstars here for the Republican Party. But now you guys got to answer some of the tough questions about this plan. It's a beautiful plan, but let's get to the specific. Congressman Owens, you say at its core, this commitment to America is about hope for America. What do you mean by that? Well, America, no matter what we go through, that's the one thing in our DNA that we can, we can agree on. No matter how tough things get, we know that at the end of the day, we dream big enough, we don't come any obstacles. And what we the people are doing now, we're talking in a way we have not talked in a long time, because we share the same misery. And this commitment allows us to say this is something we can do, gives us hope, and it's not just what we're against, it's what we're for. And, and Americans, don't care what side that I would sit on, will love this, this process. And it comes down to very simply, an economy that's strong, a nation that's safe, a government that's accountable, and a future built on freedom. And freedom is what it's all about, and we're going to get back to that in, in, in the end of the day because of this, this commitment. So have. let's talk about the first issue, Representative Kevin. <laughs> You're traveling across the country just like I am, helping conservative candidates. Yeah. What is the Republicans' uh, vision when it comes to tackling inflation? Because that is the number one issue for all Americans. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and, and when you look at this plan, it really boils down to what, as, as we were saying, our country's all about. America is about equal opportunity, not equal outcome. And that is why we are focused on the economy first and foremost, reducing our dependence on China, making it so that next generation can can do whatever they want to do. And where we are today is a great example of that. You know, I was just talking to the owners of this place and I, I was saying, you know, are you going to take over? You got three generations here in this restaurant today. And you got Miss Beverly, who's in her 80s, and she is running a tight ship. That's right. But her son's getting ready to take over, and one day her grandkids are going to take over. But if we don't get our inflation and our economy back on track and inflation under control, that next generation won't have that opportunity. So it's about restarting domestic production of our energy, getting our supply chain fixed, reducing our dependence on China, getting them out of the way, and focusing on the table, the issues that matter most at the kitchen table like this. That's exactly right. Yeah. And we got two freshmen here that, that were elected. It because of that wave. <laughs> yeah. But now we got someone, Jim Jordan. You've been there for a while. Republican voters, they have a lot of fatigue as well. They, they, they're tired of broken promises. Yep. So when it comes to the border, what are Republicans going to do to secure the border? We know we have record uh, crossings right now. And under the Trump administration, you guys were able to get part of the wall done. But a lot of people want it fixed right now. That's because of that yeah. fentanyl that's coming across the border as well. Well, if, if, we, if the people of this country give us the majority, we'll pass legislation that will actually secure the the border now. Whether Joe Biden will sign it or not, we don't know. But it, it's important to demonstrate to the country you, you put back in place the Remain in Mexico policy, you build the wall, you secure the border. Because right now, what they're doing is intentional. I mean, right now, the, the message being sent is if you come to the country, there's no wall to get over. You don't have to stay in Mexico. And you get in the country, you won't need to be deported. You'll be sent wherever you want to go. That's just causing more people to come. So that has to change. And it's one of the things we're committed to doing. I really think this election is about four issues plus freedom. We went from a secure border to no border. We went from safe streets to record crime. We went from $2 gas to $5 gas. And we went from stable prices to record inflation. We're going to attack all those, and that's our commitment to the country. But it's also about the freedom to exercise your First Amendment liberties, your Second Amendment liberties, to direct the, the, your child's education. It's about that. Those are the key issues that I think American people care about. Our commitment to America is to deal with those in a way that's consistent with how this country has always operated. Yeah. Representative Kamek, you know, Jim Jordan talks about public safety. Yes. We know that's an issue near and dear to your heart. Your husband is a first responder. Yes. What is the Republican solution to that? Well, and as you said, you know, I, my husband is a firefighter and a SWAT medic, has been for 16 years. And so this one hits pretty close to home for me. The first thing that we're going to do as Republicans is we are going to support bonuses for over 200,000 local police officers. And that is so critically needed 
needed because I can't tell you how many guys and gals I know that have served and they're saying, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to do something else. This just isn't working for me and my family. And for those that are looking yeah. to join uh, law enforcement, this is a great incentive to get involved because they will know that the folks in Washington have their back. And that is so critically important. And that's something that's important to everyone in the country. Jim Jordan, Kamek, as well as Burgess Orange, thank you all so much for joining me tonight. When we come back on Fox & Friends, guys, we're going to have the minority leader here live, and he's going to break down some more of this plan. I'll send it back to you guys in New York. Terrific. Thank right. you very much, Lawrence. Great panel. And company. Yeah. And uh, do you realize Burgess Owens, former New York Jet and Raider, and Jim Jordan, one of the best wrestlers of his generation, now wearing ties. Well, Hanging out in that. Kat Kamek, was she an athlete? Uh, I have not, I've looked at Wikipedia. I haven't seen it, but she looks athletic to me. And she's married to a first responder. Yep.